Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I am going to kind of talk a little bit about my thoughts, where I'm at. <clears throat> um, I'm doing a lot of reflecting this month now that it is now December and I have to pay my fucking bills. Um, but like looking back at the year, looking at what worked, what didn't, what needs to change, what um, things I should stop doing, what things I need to do more of, and kind of the ways to make my um, publishing and my poetry career move forward, and what ways to diversify and stuff like that. So if that's the kind of shit you're into like going over, this is the perfect video for you. And I'm hoping that all of you do the same thing right now because every once in a while we need to sit and look at what we've done and try to figure out what's working and what's not so um throughout this month i'm probably going to be doing quite a few videos typically not typically but like on this subject like um, we'll talk about my chapbooks. We'll talk about my paperbacks. We'll talk about my ebooks. We'll talk about my art. We'll talk about my music. And we'll talk about film. And we'll talk about all the things that I've been doing stuff in, dabbling in, um, and what things I need to be doing more of and what things I need to be doing less of. And um, kind of what to change as we move forward and one of the things that I need to figure out a better way of doing is this channel and the memberships on this channel and things like that so I'm kind of going through some stuff trying to figure out the best way to um, go forward with the channel because the channel is growing and it's growing um, at a faster rate than normal. And um, I don't want to say than normal, but then then it's usual. But honestly, as your channel grows, I think the number of subscribers you get also that number increases as your channel gets bigger. So. Um, that's really exciting and kind of fun. So um, we're on the way to 2000, on the way to 2K. In the last year, I would say probably, I mean, it's not like a huge number. I'd say maybe like 500 subs come in this last year, which is awesome and I love it. Um, the thing that's funny though, the more videos I publish, the less subscribers I get. When I publish videos less frequently, I get more subscribers. I have no idea how that works, what the math is. My only thought is that people who are already subscribed like get annoyed when there are multiple videos that they haven't watched from somebody. And if they feel like, wow, I... I'm subbed to this channel and I haven't watched the last five videos they put up. I must not really like this channel. So I don't know if that's like a thing. So I am trying to kind of figure out what to do on that end. I'm also trying to figure out if I need to do multiple channels. Because the one thing I do know about YouTube is that if you have content that is different kinds of content, YouTube doesn't know how to make that work algorithmically. So let's say somebody subscribes to my channel because I did a cover of a Cure song. And then for the next two weeks, I'm doing writing tip videos. That might not interest them, so they might split. Um, if I, because I've been wanting to put up a lot of my old movie trailers and maybe even put some of my films up here that I own the rights to. But again, that's something that uh, 
algorithmically would not work very well. So I'm trying to figure out, like, do I just keep this channel as like a poetry writing channel and then start another channel for my music and start another channel for my film stuff and maybe another channel for my art stuff? Like, I don't know. Like, what do you guys think? Like, I know that there's a lot of creators out there who have multiple channels for that reason, but like, I don't know if that's worth doing because then it's just like, oh, but now I'm having to like keep content up on four fucking channels like that sounds stupid you know and maybe a channel that's just vlogs like i don't know what do you think tell me explain this shit to me um so there's that <clears throat> the thing about the um live streams for members so i'm going to talk a little bit about the membership stuff right now I think the problem I'm having is that there's no way I can keep everybody happy. So I've been toying and doing little things, changing the t day and time that we do like the members only live streams and the anarchy crew writing zooms and shit like that. And like, no matter what I do, somebody's pissed off. Somebody feels left out. And I can't do, like, writing stream videos twice a day every day. I just can't fucking do it. So, um, I don't know what the, um, sweet spot is, but it's definitely not what's been going on. So, if you guys have any, like, recommendations, I would love to hear those. Drop those in the comments. Um, but also something that I think I need to be doing more of that um, it actually has been brought to my attention is that I need to be doing more stuff for members. I need to be making more content for members. So maybe what I will do moving forward is doing like one video a week or two videos a week for the normal stream and then try to do daily content for the members that might be the best way to go. So, um, I don't know. So there's that. Um, I did have a question for you guys about the podcast. Cause I know there's a lot of you who watch my channel only for the podcast videos. That's like the thing you eat up more than anything. And then I know others don't like the podcast because they're too long. So, um, my question to some of you guys is this, would you rather, like, I still put the podcast videos up, but would you also like just clips of things from the podcast in like three to five minute videos? Like, would you prefer that than having to sit through the whole podcast? Um... If that's something you would like to do, leave that in the comments below. And then my other question is, do you prefer when I do podcasts with guests or do you prefer when I do podcasts on my own? Because a lot of the delays in the podcast have been me trying to get interviews with people and scheduling them and all that other shit. And if me doing interviews really isn't that important to you guys and you guys aren't really digging it as much as just when I do solo shit, let me know that too. And I mean, I'm sure there's a happy medium. I've been trying to do one podcast with me and then one podcast with a guest. That's been kind of the, the way I've been trying to go about shit. But um, if you all don't care if I'm just doing a lot of videos with just me, then I'll just fucking do that. Um, I just, I don't know how beneficial for YouTube it is for me to do a bunch of videos of me and then doing a podcast that's like 45 minutes of me. Um, I don't really know like what the um, 
best way to put that together would be. But um, I want your guys' input. I want your feedback. I want to hear like what you dig about this channel, what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of. Because um, some of you might hate the fact that I put music on here at all. You know, I just, I get in these little, like yesterday when I did that Cure song, I had that song stuck in my head. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to fucking play it and hopefully like it'll get out of my system. And I can't even remember how the words go to that. I can't remember the first line. And I know the first line is like kind of the title of the song, but I can't remember how it goes in my head. So um, it's just like exercising demons, you know what I'm saying? So. And for those of you who are curious about this, when I do those videos of me doing cover songs and shit... I don't remember the words and I'm just learning how to play the song. And cause somebody asked me like what I was doing with my hand. Cause in that last video I'm doing the song or whatever. And then I go like this and then go back to the song. And the reason is, is because I have the lyrics up on the screen and I needed to scroll down to see like what the next fucking line was. Cause I didn't know. Um, I'm horrible at memorizing lyrics and how songs go. Even songs, even Creeperson songs. For those of you who don't know, a lot of times when Creeperson would play live, I wouldn't remember the words to the songs and I'd just start going, and just like fucking scat and shit. And I know I've told the story before, but the song Flesh Eater, it's on um, Faster Creeperson Kill Kill. I left it like this on purpose because it was like this ongoing joke that I would always forget the words to the songs. So the second verse of that, there are no words to it. It's just me down, 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 yeah, and shit like that. And it was like part of the joke, but it's like legit. Like I have a really hard time remembering stuff. And when I'm in like the, um, the throes of the, action of the song and stuff like that like you're lucky i even know that a chorus is coming up you know what i'm saying so um i'm kind of all over the place with that but um that's just a fun little tidbit if anyone wants to go hear what it sounds like somebody recording lyrics that aren't existing um but yeah so i'm trying to figure out how to do things here um and just make it better. And I know a lot of times when I'm doing those things where I'm trying to like figure out a better way to do something, like all the stuff I'm normally doing kind of falls by the wayside. So I apologize for that. But I just want you guys all to know that this month for me and for you should be like taking inventory of how we do things and trying to figure out what we could do better next year. <clears throat> and so there will be a video coming up this month where I go over all of the things I've done this year and accomplishments I've had and um, what things worked and what didn't and stuff like that. So um, I really, really hope you guys all do that for yourselves too. Like start making a list. How many poems did you write this year? How many short stories did you write this year? Did you publish your shit anywhere? Like what victories did you have? And then celebrate those, you know, because if this year was like, if you're an anarchy crew, I'm pretty sure this year was way more productive than last year. Okay. So if that's the case, celebrate yourself right now for doing that. Okay. There's more. So here's the thing. <clears throat> um, I'm taking a hiatus on Blood Rag and Bloodshed Review for just a little bit. I'm probably not going to do another. I didn't put out the November Blood Rag. So I just, I'm like, I'm not going to force it. Um, the Fuck You book, I'm still putting out. The reading, I was going to do at my place next. That's not happening anymore. It's too much going on and I need to focus and streamline that is like the mantra right now the blood rag and the bloodshed review will be back next year 
probably early. It'll probably be out like the first week of January, but I don't want to fucking make fucking like hard dates and then fall off of them. So I just, I need time to recalibrate. I need time to figure out what I'm doing. Okay. So that is the update for that type heart, everybody. Keep by my books and I'll talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.